Parents across the state are keeping their kids home from school today. They say the new sex ed program is too inappropriate, adding the curriculum sexualizes children as young as kindergarten age. They were protesting new guidelines for sex education in public schools. They say they're concerned that a new sex education curriculum goes too far and takes away their parental rights. If it's right. in California, I, I know many other states are doing it as well. This is not far behind. It's going to be everywhere. We at Pacific Justice Institute have been fighting this for quite some time, but never at the degree and the level that we're dealing with it right now. That I didn't think was quite necessary for 10-year-old kids. If parents knew what was happening, I think they'd be very, very alarmed. The California Healthy Youth Act now requires that school districts cover topics like gender identity, gender expression, and abortion. For fifth graders. It's not age appropriate, it's not medically accurate, it goes way beyond the law. If it feels good, do it. This is for fifth grade as well. This is still in the framework. This is for third grade. And only they, meaning six-year-olds, know what they are. It's in government, it's in our medical societies, it's activists promoting this. And they all said this is inappropriate. Children cannot process this information, it's harmful. Whatever they're doing is not working. This isn't the way that I would want my own children taught about something as important as this in their life. So the California Department of Education still believes these books are appropriate. And these are the people that are making decisions over our children's education. This is one of these battles in life where you drop absolutely everything and you go to the hills, because this is the hill I die on. You can't teach this in an unbiased way. It's a moral topic. When we tell parents they're livid, they're angry, because they want to protect their children. We will stop at nothing to protect our kids. Don't be afraid, don't be discouraged, don't be intimidated. Parents have to be vigilant, they have to be insistent. All you have to do is start educating yourself. The districts and the staffers are very good at misleading parents. Without question, there is a growing movement of parents across the country who are speaking out and objecting to what's taking place. Uh, it doesn't matter your race, it doesn't matter uh, where you're from. Uh, if you've got children, you're going to care.